Yeah, read that, bro. You got it? Uh, 13, yeah, yeah, 40. 40. 40. 40. You know, the second edge is 13 and verse 40. It's about the 10 it says, tribe, right? Yep. It says those, those are the 10 tribes. Which one? Sulak, Sulak, Sulak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Started uh, 30, 33. 33. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Verse 33. And when all the people. 30, 32, Sulak. Right. It says, and the time shall be when these things shall come to pass. And the signs shall happen, which I showed showed thee this, showed thee before. This is some edifying meat there also. You got it. It says, and then, it's like I'm sort of. And the time shall be when these things shall come to pass, and the signs shall happen, which I showed thee before. And then shall my son be declared, whom thou sawest as a man descended. And when all the people hear his voice, every man shall be in their own land. Every man shall be in their own land. Leave the battle. They have one against another, and an innumerable multitude shall be gathered together, as as thou sawest them, willing to come and to overcome him by fight. But he but he shall stand upon the top of the Mount Sinai, and signs shall come and shall be showed to all men, being prepared and builded, like as thou sawest the hill graven with thy hand. Yep. And this my son shall rebuke the wicked inventions of those nations which for their wicked life are falling into the temple. This is that event when the hell shot returns and the nation's gonna fight against him. What are the people gonna be doing? They're, 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 the people, it's showing you that same time period as we're getting into what he's about to read, about the ten tribes being over here as well. It's, it's, it's lining up that we're all coming back to the Holy Father at this time. I, mean, I don't mean all, I mean like the elect are waking up to the Holy Father at this time. And this is the time of that deliverance and the time of that destruction. You oh, think of, when you think about like when you had them start up there and then start you know building up to when how shy gets uh, revealed mm -hmm. the second time what he's gonna do when these uh, nations are assembled in, in war yeah. then at the end it just cuts to yeah. the time period back to uh, yeah. the time of uh, 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 the Assyrian captivity yeah. Yeah, of what began uh, the northern tribes. Uh, 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 ex being exiled, you know, out of their land, yeah. and eventually making it over here to the Americas. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, because the Lord had it strategically that way, where the yeah. Lord brought the, the northern kingdom over here first, yeah. and then later the, the southern kingdom was brought over right alongside with them. All right. And then we were, you know, both the northern and the southern kingdom. We were uh, spiritually dead. Dry bones yep. Yep. before the Lord finally, you know, woke us back up, and now the Lord is breaking that uh, middle wall partition. Yep. Where he's, you know, he's, uh, the brotherhood between Judah and, and uh, Israel, yep. Israel that was broken is now being sealed. It's being, uh, you know, basically uh, uh, fixed. Yeah. Yes. Closing up the breaches. Yeah. 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 You know. So it's all, it all, it all, to have. it's all lining up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And, this, and that's what makes this special because in this one time, and then you already read, we were, uh, did you read that? We were in our captivity uh, yeah, together? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, they, no, 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 we didn't read that one. Yeah, we did, I yeah. did. You did read I, the one I where we were in the captivity together? No, 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 no. no that's, no, that's, that's one Jeremiah, Jeremiah 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, we, we um, Judah and Israel were in the captivity yeah, together. together yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, we're oppressed together. So what? You got it, bro. It's all that same time period. And shall lay before them their evil thoughts and the torments wherewith they shall begin to be tormented, which are like unto a flame. And he shall destroy them without labor by the law which is like unto me. And whereas thou sawest that he gathered another peaceful multitude unto him, those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Osea the king, whom Salmanasser the king of Assyria led away captive. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. And he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land. This is talking about the northern kingdom, because you, you, you so-called um, Latino nations, um, you native so-called Native Americans. This is talking about you guys. You guys weren't always in this area, in this land. You were brought over here. You were living in the land of Israel at once. You were under the uh, uh, captivity of the Assyrians. Okay, and. and was going to say that you wanted you to. In, you went in first. Yeah. You mm. were going off first. 
So when then you, then you got then you came over to the Central and South and North Americas, and you began to well, it's gonna say it, but you gonna began to fall, try to attempt to follow the Lord's Seventh Commandments, but you're still under the curses. You know, yeah, that's what you know. Jake didn't realize, like, okay, maybe we can go over here. You're still gonna be under the curses. Therefore, they fell, they fell back to the idolatrous ways. Yeah, you know? hell yeah. They came over here. A lot of time had passed. Yeah. They start to lose their mm -hmm. their customs yeah. that they were keeping over in, 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 in the known world. Yeah. You know, it talks about how Edom was joined unto idols, let them alone. Yeah, Edom, Ephraim, Ephraim, it's like an Ephraim. You know, yeah, that represents. Northern tribes, mm -hmm. they started. Uh, oh, they started to build pyramids. Mm -hmm. They started to erect these um, these gods that they that they that they worship in the ancient world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, temples. You know, uh, 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 created groves and. That's why. I'm, that's why I'm glad you used that word groves because we just read that they would go back and remember the groves because mm -hmm. we discontinued. They yeah. couldn't remember uh, how to fill in certain parts with the statutes of the commandments because they were in the, no the, the new world. But then they began to um, to remember the groves yeah. of, of the idols and start building that stuff up. You gotta understand, it's, back off it's pyramids, like shit, Central, South, yep. and even in North America. They got pyramids in yeah. like, hey, I wanna uh, say Ohio or somewhere. Uh, Georgia has uh, the Temple Mounds. Yeah. The mounds that were like small, mi miniature mounds and, and pyramids, but then they got into being grown over, but they were put there on purpose. And they kept, a, they kept, you know, I would say a, 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 some of our customs, they kept the, the names, the, the writings, the Hebrew, but... They said the Shammai prayer. Yeah. They still wore the fringes. Mm -hmm. yeah. But You but, see the remnants of them. Yeah. yeah you know. But a lot of them, they, they, they still went off. Mm -hmm. They were still under the curses. So it, it it's no way to shake these curses unless the uh, only one can lift these curses is, is Yahweh Shai. Yeah. You got it, bro. <clears throat> Verse 41. But they took this counsel among themselves that they that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. So mm -hmm. that was actually something righteous they did. They they wanted to get away from the heathen because they understood that being around these heathen, we're gonna go off. Yeah, because yes, we know the Lord Yahweh is our power, but it's something about Jake and these idols that just they just gravitate to. Yep. So say, they say, let us remove ourselves from the situation. Yep. But we know what happened. You know, they, hey, they still, they still went off. You it's like, uh, and also, and also, you really can't keep your own laws and customs if you're not kind. Sober, right? Yep. Yeah. If you if you have to dwell in another nation's land, mm -hmm. or if that nation has, you know, your the landmass that you dwell in conquered, and they pretty much own the jurisdiction of that mm -hmm. land. You gotta live according to the customs and the laws of that land. Yeah. So when the Assyrians was, was in power, you had to worship the Assyrian uh, gods and do what the Assyrians did. You know, Nineveh. It was, it, that's why the Lord, you know, pronounced judgment against Nineveh because it was a lot of wickedness, mm -hmm. just like America. You know? So the northern tribes, they got to the dodge to try to, you know, avoid that. But once they got over here, they fell away. Yeah. Yep. Actually, I got two, uh, two uh, precepts. Uh, John 10 and 15, as the Father knoweth me, even so I, the Father, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep, and other sheep I have which are not of this fold. Yep. They all, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Now, if you if you understand the, uh, the the historical moments of what's going on here, he was speaking when he was in the land where majority of the, it was just southern kingdom, yep. and then the, the northern kingdom in its in its uh, most entirety, I should say, was over here in the Americas. But he he knew he had to come over to here. And there's stories that the Native Americans and, and, and the Hispanics tell, speaking about. Uh, a messiah that came over here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, yeah. yeah, the, the main one we yeah. know, Quetzalcoatl. It was a Native American one too. Was another name too. There's a couple of other names, you know. But they have stories of somebody coming over here, breaking this thing down to them, that in this, to that peaceful multitude. And, and there's also uh, stories that he's going to return. Yeah, and there's another return. Yeah, he's set to return. The Native Americans believe that. It's like. 
I, I saw something where they saw a, a chariot. It was called um, Arizona Lights. It happened like mm -hmm. in the early, late 1990s. But the Native Americans. Phoenix Lights. Phoenix Lights. There you Lights. go. Yeah. And they, you know, their history tells of, you know, a chariot coming mm -hmm. back. You know, not necessarily history, but the, mm -hmm. the things that they teach. You know, amongst the you know, Native Americans, yeah. it, it, it tells yeah, it tells of a, a chariot coming back and delivering. Yep. So they kept a lot of these these you know ideas and I, principles. principles of, of the scriptures. Yep. The you know, yeah, I got another precept. Uh, John seven and thirty two. Read down. The Pharisees heard that the people murmured such things concerning him, and the Pharisees and the chief priests sent officers to take him. Then said Yahweh shall unto them, Yet a little while am I with you, and then I go unto him that sent me. Ye shall seek me, and shall not find me, and where I am thither ye cannot come. Then said the Jews among themselves, Whither will he go, that we shall not find him? We will go, will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles, and teach the Gentiles? <laughs> Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Israelite foreigners. Because they, they didn't think of them being Israelites. They just thought of them yeah. in, the, in carnality being being heathens. Yeah. They couldn't see the spiritual context of those people being our people. They didn't understand the full process of what happened. Yeah. And you do. And, and a lot of our people today can't understand it. Well, I will say uh, a Bruce Lee or what's another few famous people we Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio. DiCaprio. Yeah, that one. Timberlake. Timberlake. Uh, Travolta, Robert De Niro, and Al Pacino. I'll, I'll even go as to say this: even you got Israelites that, that you know, like you got uh, natives down there, like South America, where you got a lot of Jakes that have an issue with them being our people because of the, the, the heathenistic customs that they're into. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like you'll you, you'll research on some of the tribes down there in the, uh, in the Amazon. Yeah. You'll see how heathenistic yeah. they, yeah. they even they even got, they got the rings, hooks and rings, rings. long at yeah. they even wear the lip plates like the Hamites. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you be That's like, it. man, that, them is not our people, man. Acalypto. Yeah, kind of yeah. 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 You but got no, those yeah. are straight up Israelites. Yeah. yeah. But there's such an heathen heathenistic state of mind, it's like you be like, nah, Through. that's not no Israel. That's yeah. a Gentile. Okay. That's completely different <laughs> right there. Mm -hmm. You know? What was his name? That's Louis, what happened. Baby Jaguar was his name? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Jaguar, Jaguar Paul, something Jaguar like that? Paul, yeah. 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 But those yeah. are our people. They just, they're not yeah. in, their, in their right mind. Yeah. yeah. You know? You fall away from your heritage for, for so long. That's what happens, man. You used to live in taking on the customs of the other people that conquered you, that's what's going to happen. You had you had history of the Canaanites being over here. Even during the time of uh, Solomon, he used to send Hamites in his, his navy to come over here and gather uh, resources. Well, you say some didn't stay. They huh, didn't right. do work over here, tilling and they Yeah, they knew about, they knew about the, uh, the, uh, the new world. Yeah. It's just the way to go, right? Yeah. So you gotta dig for that. Like those yeah. old men right. heads down yeah. there were like lamb ones. Yeah. yeah. So every time that they came, they came through, off that other coast. Okay, yeah. we already didn't been here. We already yeah. took mm -hmm. some gold or You're whatever. Saying, over here. Something so new. let's go let's go further into the land. Yeah. 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 A lot of them they was they was they was Jay. Big, big old noses and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think they were hammite faces. Hamites? Yeah, yeah. Old men they're 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 hammites. So you know that the, some of the northern tribes got some influence from, right. from the Canaanites. Now here's the other uh, thing about that. Um, when it was over here, you got to imagine some of them were still trying to keep their customs over here. But they kept going back and forth. And so when, when our people was over here, and they showed up and they saw some of them, they, they going, our people wouldn't they, they move to any neighborhood what they do. They try yeah. to assimilate into yeah. the neighborhood yeah. and not cause a big strife. Uh, how do we go? So you, you digging? Okay, so we'll dig and we'll do all of this. You got to set it up. So your king is still going to keep sending those ships back? Like, man, the king been dead for thousands of years. Man. <laughs> I got that account we're talking about. Uh, it wasn't that king long. Solomon, you know, uh, yeah. the Hamites yeah. coming over here. Uh, uh, first Kings 10, and uh, I'm going to start at 21. And all the King Solomon's drinking vessels were of gold, and of the vessels of the house of the forest of Lebanon, 
where pure gold, none 